All right, let's move on to Carolina, New Orleans, Panthers, Saints, Panthers, three and three, two and one on the road at the Saints, three and two, two and one at home. Let's see what we are dealing with here. Saints open up minus seven and a half. There is one seven on the board. This total is sitting at 51. Carolina's three-game win streak ended with a 23-16 loss at home to the Chicago Bears on Sunday. Bridgewater, 16 of 29 for 216 yards. No TDs, two interceptions. He did run eight times for 48 yards. Panthers managed just 303 yards on offense. Actually, that's not just. I shouldn't say that. It's a, The Bears are a tough team. So Panthers managed 303 yards on offense, but were just 3 of 13 on third down. They gained just 23 yards on 13 plays inside the Bears' 20, which gave them one TD on three trips. I was on Carolina, so was Bebsy. I believe it was Dennis Garcia who said, take the under – Carolina and Chicago are ter- have terrible red zone offense, and Chicago's got such great red zone defense, and we saw that. So one TD and three trips inside the 20, and Bridgewater didn't complete a pass in the red zone. Carolina turned the ball over three times, twice on interceptions by Bridgewater, once on a fumble by Mike Davis. Davis ran 18 times for 52 yards and one TD. McCaffrey missed his fourth straight game with a high ankle sprain. It's possible that he returns this week. Keith Kirkwood, their receiver, was put on injured reserve after the game. So was their safety, Justin Burris. Wide receiver Curtis Samuel and cornerback Eli Apple are still questionable. Saints are coming off their bye week. Week five, they beat the Chargers on Monday night, 30-27 in overtime. Looking back at the year, I think that's the worst bet that I made was backing the Saints first quarter, first half. And then when the news came out about Michael Thomas punching a teammate and that's why he wasn't in the lineup, I should have just immediately taken the other side. Uh, Supposedly they're over that. Michael Thomas will be back in the lineup. Saints rallied from a 17-point second quarter deficit. Breeze goes 33-47, 325 yards, one TD, one interception. He didn't look good, but he became the oldest quarterback with more than 32 completions in the NFL game. Emmanuel Sanders looked awesome. 12 passes he caught for 122 yards. Kamar could get nothing done on the ground, just 11 for 45, but he caught eight passes for 74 yards. This is expected to be a very healthy group coming off their bye. Bebsy, is this too many points for the Saints, seven-and-a-half-point favorites? Yeah, I think it's too many points. I love the Saints coming off the bye, getting healthy. You know, Michael Thomas punching a teammate. These guys are, you know, spazzes, pro athletes. They get over shit. It's, I don't think that's a big deal. I, I think uh, I think the media will want to make a bigger deal of that than it is. I don't, I don't put a ton of stock into that. What I put stock into is the Steelers – or sorry, the Saints getting healthy and coming off the break. I I like them in this. I just think this is a lot of points to give a Panthers team that, you know, somebody – might have been Dennis Garcia again, but somebody said uh, playing the Panthers the, – the, we were making money off the Panthers for weeks and the league finally caught up to it or the, the books finally caught up to it and I thought I could squeeze one more week out of it. I was wrong. But still, this Panthers football team is is a decent football team. They're coached well. They they look good. They look way better than anybody expected. So I just think it's too many points. Uh, it's floating around seven, seven and a half. That's too much for me, even though I love Sean Payton coming off the bye. I love the fact that Thomas is coming back to this offense. I love the fact that they're finally figuring out how to use Sanders because, you know, he was just – wasn't doing anything for them early in the year. And I'm like, this guy can play ball everywhere. Sanders is gone. People have neglected him and he's been great. So I, I like the saints. I just, I, I don't, I don't like this matchup, but I don't like the points. Uh, yes. Prince, Prince of the city. I think breeze is full of drugs every week to try and get that arm working. I just don't think it's going to last all year. It hasn't really done much yet this year. He can dink and dunk still. That's all he's going to need to do. Yes, Captain Nub Sanders is maybe the most underrated receiver in the NFL. I This is a Panthers or no bet, and with the Saints off the bye, I'm leaning towards the no bet. It's a no bet for me for exactly what you said. I think it's a Panthers or no bet because of the spread. I think the Saints coming off the bye make this a very dangerous play. I, I, I don't like this game at all. It's too many points, but 
Who knows? What do you think of Bled's W saying this is an over spot? The Saints here playing at home. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things, a lot of moving parts here. The big one here is that Teddy's coming back to his old team against his old team, and he's going to be able to make any kind of adjustment at the line of scrimmage without, you know, a sold out Superdome. This total is sitting at 51. Does that seem low? No, it doesn't because the the Saints have been underwhelming most of this year. It's to me this is there's there's no play here. There's nothing exciting. The the points total, the Saints have too many in favor of them. I this is there's just nothing enticing for me in this one. And there's a lot this week that does, and and this one just does not. How much better is the Chargers defense than the Panthers defense? Healthy, a lot better, but the Chargers defense isn't healthy right now. Hmm. So to be honest with you, they're they're relatively comparable. I still give the nod to the Chargers defense, but there's a lot of injuries on that Chargers defense right now. C Mac joining us coming off an eight and oh Sunday. My man Connor Mag eaten on Sunday. Also cash the Rays. To win. Hell of a weekend, Connor Mack. Hell of a weekend, no doubt. Uh, Christian Larson and Chargers getting Melvin Gordon back. I mean, I don't know. What do you mean getting? What do you mean? Did they just pick up Char- Melvin Gordon? I think he means Melvin Ingram. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's the fucking okay. Um, okay. Well, I have interest in the over. Okay. Well, why don't we do this? I, I've talked a lot about how fast this. Panthers defense has improved, but I think the Bears offense is bad, real bad. And yeah, you're not alone on that island, but so in saying that, I don't think the Panthers defense is as, is as good as it's looked the last few weeks. I thought that the reason why we had an edge on the Panthers, an edge that I talked about and didn't have the balls to follow through with until it was too late, you know. Uh, but was was Derek Brown stepping up? You know, he was stepping up in a big, big way. And then we were waiting for them to get healthy on their front seven. They got healthy. And I'm leaning towards the over 51. I, I just – don't you think the Saints are going to have an offense that's just humming right now after a bye? Yeah, well, I mean, this is the this is the time if you're going to put in any stock into Breeze. Is this is it's now after he's had an extra week of rest? But I don't know. Maybe his old body gets has trouble get going after after two weeks off. It, uh, I, I get, I get why you're excited about this. It just doesn't it doesn't get me going at all. I, all right, all right. I you know I'm. I'm close to pulling the trigger. Close to pulling the trigger. Uh, Chase Dozier, what up, my man? Uh, thank you. And it was uh, all the best bets hit on Sunday. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun show.